two lovers give up everything, leave their entire lives behind and escape to a lost planet to be together. Welcome back to MChat, the second best place in the known universe to talk about geek stuff. So Haven released back on December 10th, 2020, so it has taken me a little while to get round to it. But I remember playing this game back in the summer spotlight thing that Xbox did last year, around June, July kind of time, where they released a bunch of demos for smaller, more independent games that were going to be showcased at places like E3 or Gamescom. And there's two games that really piqued my interest, one of them being Chris Tales, the other one being this game, Haven. And to be honest, I think this was the one that really piqued my interest the most. There was Destroy All Humans remake, which was probably the biggest demo out of them all, but Haven was a game that really got me excited just playing that demo, because I knew right from playing, what, 20 minutes, maybe an hour of the game, that this was going to be a very, very character focused game. And that's exactly what it is. If you are a fan of games that are entirely focused on gameplay and have really in depth combat systems and just generally in depth gameplay systems, I can't say that Haven is for you, but if you are a person that loves story, that loves characters most of all, Haven is absolutely perfect. And I'll start off by talking about our two lead characters. You and Kay have a fantastic dynamic with each other, and their relationship is really the heart and soul of this entire game. Rather than leveling up your characters like you would in a typical RPG, what you do instead is level up their relationship. Now, you still level it up in the same way that you would normally level up your characters, fighting enemies, discovering things within the world, and tasting different foods, which is a really big thing in this game that... It's so small and it seems really insignificant. And I think that's why I love this game so much. Rather than being focused on a plot, focused on gameplay, focused on giving these really elaborate character arcs, what it focuses on is the really minute details that really feel insignificant to most people. Things that just a, a little personality quirks that on their own maybe don't make up a character, but you add them all together and they just make the characters feel really real and relatable. I'm not going to touch too much on the story and the mystery surrounding why these characters left their home behind, but I will say that it's definitely an interesting mystery, definitely adds to the world in a lot of ways, and, you know, the world building in this game is fantastic. And moving on from that, the world itself looks absolutely gorgeous. The graphics in this game, fantastic. The art direction, fantastic. The only minor issue I might have is the character's facial appearance. Nothing wrong with it. But I just don't think there's as much detail put into it as, you know, the subtitles coming up and the character drawings that they use. It's one of those kind of games where it comes up with text bubbles rather than characters properly interacting with each other on screen. Which in some games it can detract from how invested you are in the characters, but in the case of this game, has no effect at all. I'll now get onto the gameplay, which right off the bat I will say that this is definitely not for everyone. It's very simplistic, you are essentially just running around this world exploring, but I think it warts this fine line between RTS and turn-based combat systems, like you'd see in Final Fantasy or Pokemon. Because in a way, you know, you get into these battles when you're walking around the world and if you run into an enemy, you put into these turn-based, almost turn-based kind of battles, except at the same time, they're not turn-based, because you can attack whenever, you can defend whenever, you can heal whenever, you can use your power-ups whenever, whatever you want to do, there's no taking turns between the AI enemy and yourself. And it, it's definitely more interesting than what a turn-based game would be. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of turn-based systems, I think they can get a little bit boring. When you're going back and forth between just using generic kind of powers, it's definitely not that interesting, but in this game, there is an element of strategy to it. You have to choose whether you want to defend or attack. Now, the game isn't particularly hard. Like, the gameplay is very simplistic. And to be honest, right from the get-go, it says, this game is not difficult. You can play on an easier difficulty, but you definitely don't need to. You can play on normal difficulty, and it's perfectly fine. I think just about anyone could play it. And no one's really going to struggle with it. And I think for a lot of people, that very simple gameplay loop is going to get very tedious. Probably quickly for some people. For others, I think you'll probably just be invested in the story enough to keep yourself going. For me personally, I put about 20 to 25 hours into this game, which is probably more than you actually need to. You can get through this game in 5 hours if you really push through it. But if you enjoy spending time with the characters, then naturally you're going to want to spend as much time as possible with the characters. And yeah, that gameplay loop after 20 to 25 hours, it definitely gets a little bit monotonous and boring. But nonetheless, it's a simple price to pay when you're that invested in the story and characters. Overall, I think that Haven is a must-play. It's a beautiful tale about love and discovery that really celebrates some of the smaller, more minor details in life. If you can get past the very simple gameplay loop and you can focus on the characters and the story, I think you're going to love this game. So with all that in mind, I'm going to give Haven an A. 
So that was my review of Haven. If you could make sure to leave a like on this video as it does really help out the channel. And also consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see plenty more video game content from me. And head on down to the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of Haven if you've played it. Or did this review sell you and you are going to go right out and buy this game right now. Thank you for tuning in to MChat today and remember, even in the worst of times, there's always entertainment. I'll see you guys next time.